Cuidado nosso, quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz. Ah, Trou, filha da puta! Perde no frente! O que é que você vai fazer? Ah, você vai te tomar por aqui! Eu não sei o que você vai me acontecer, caralho! Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Fica aí, eu! Sem poder, filha da puta! Otário! Ai, 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 Deixa eu sair daqui, né? Ô, 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 segura a porta aí! Mano, eu vi uma outra versão. Ô, mas eu resolvi aquela parada lá, hein? Tem que morar. What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, you're here? doing you here? Me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. Nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. The police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. trapped in here and more presently seemed I was too.
security switch had to be in that booth. It was Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell. And no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. and bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Six months ago, this was where my life was headed. I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time.
come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. Rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer.
drops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail. But it was too late for that now. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. Nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. That would have been too easy. The bastards had me locked in. The doors were all locked. There had to be something else I wasn't seeing. If I didn't do something soon, I was going to be crying my 